بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم بیک اگین ٹو مائی چینل سو گائز فرام ناؤ آن ورڈز آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو اسٹارٹ اے نیو ویڈیو ٹوٹوریل اینڈ دیٹ ول بی دی گوگل میپس اے پی آئی یوزنگ اینڈرائڈ اسٹوڈیو آل رائٹ سو ناؤ ان مائی دس سیریز یو ول بی ایبل ٹو لرن آل دی کانسیپٹس اباؤٹ دی گوگل میپس ایس ٹی کے ان اینڈرائڈ سو بیسیکلی اف یو وانٹ ٹو Uh, if you want to fetch your current location and show it on the map inside your application then you are in the right place so in this video we will i as you can see that i already have uh, i already have created the project and now we will directly go into the into the android studio and start our tutorial so guys first of all i want to show you that what kind of uh, what uh, what uh, what kind of work we will be doing so here i i have connected my phone and that is the samsung galaxy c7 so here i will give you the demo so first of all here i have this app that is the mini uh, mini pocket gps so i will upload this link in my video description so you can go and install it and there you can see i have the facebook ads okay guys so here you can see we have i have the four options current location route finder nearby places and street view so if uh, in this video series we will only cover this current location all right so here if the user clicks on the current location and there you can see a facebook interstitial ad is showing okay so after i skip the ad and there you can see we have this dialogue okay to continue turn on device location because my device location gps is switched off let me show you here you can see the location is switched off so if i click on okay so it will automatically you can see gps is enabled all right and it is showing me this uh, this my current location so right now i am in aptabad so here you can see and if i click on this you can see current position all right so i will and then here we have uh, a couple of other uh, the couple of other modes of the map here we have the satellite view and then we will have uh, if we want to know about the traffic so there you can see we can know the traffic condition like if there is too much traffic or too low traffic so there you can find it all right so let's go back to our app and let's close it and let's continue so here you you can see that i already have connected my phone with this uh laptop and i already have created this project so first of all what we have to do is we always go to our manifest file and we specify the user permissions okay so the first of all we need the gps i mean location permission so here we will write use this permission and first of all let's write internet because we we will be we will be requiring the internet permission and the second one will be the access location access course location and then we will have the access fine location okay access fine location all right after we specify the user permissions all we have to do is we have to click on our uh, i mean the main activity and there what we can do here first of all here we can see we have this main activity main dot xml and so first of all we will uh, go to our build dot gradle and add the libraries which we need so first of all uh, i want to tell you that i always use the button knife library for the view binding so it makes me, uh, it easy for me to bind my views with the java file so how i do that so there we can write implementation and here we can write com dot check button 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 knife 10.2.1 then we have an annotation processor and that is com dot check button button knife compiler and it will be also be 10.2.1 all right so these are the button knife library which we have to integrate in our project and now we can have the 
uh, for example we need to have the google maps sdk so for that we can say implementation and there we will write com dot okay so a lot of you guys were saying that my text font is very small so i can make it large so i will go to my project settings and i will click on appearance then i will click on let me see use custom let's see if it is done okay i think 16 is uh, very big so we convert it to 14 okay but i think this is not the right setting so here i will click on it will be 12 okay so here edit editor and we will have to click on font and there we can specify 15 or 16 16 is good so i will click on apply and press ok ok so now you can you will be able to see this the text very easily so here we will have the google maps sdk so we can write com dot google dot android dot gms play services maps and it will be 17.0.0 .0. then we will have implementation and that will be com dot google dot android dot gms and we will have play services and then we will have location 17.0.0 .0. okay so that these are the two uh, dependencies which we have to access so now here we can click on sync now and it will be configured okay guys so now these are uh, integrated into our project so now we have to i have to show you this google maps sdk here you can see and for the latest one here we will just copy the fragment here so i will just click on i will copy it and here we will go to our xml file and here we will just pass on the relative layout and instead of this text view we will just copy it and yes all right so i think it is redundant and it's also we don't need it so i will just remove that okay so now we have the fragment and the name of this is sport map fragment all right so now uh, we have to go to our main activity or i think we should add a toolbar also okay so for the toolbar what we have to do is we can say here no action bar and then we can specify a toolbar so here we will go above of it and here we will write toolbar match parent wrap content then we can say background it to be colored primary then we will have to set the id as toolbar and background okay so i think that is enough background of we can say text color and it will be white and okay and there instead of after id we can say it to be below toolbar okay so it will be below the toolbar so there first of all we have to specify the toolbar so for that we have to use bind view r dot id dot toolbar and here we have to specify the object and then what we have to do is first of all we have to initialize the button knife library so we can say button knife dot this all right so after this what we are going to do now we can easily use the uh, controls i mean we have to use the toolbar so for that sorry we can say toolbar dot set title and here it will be current location and then we can say set sport action bar it will be toolbar all right so then we have to write um, okay so first of all we have to use the fused location provider client okay so i think that we will start it in our next part of the video tutorial so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you and goodbye